over the next 10 weeks, four men and four women will compete in the ultimate fitness competition. This is not about losing weight, but about reaching their full potential with the dream of becoming a bona fide personal trainer, thanks to Ludus Magnus and Fit College New Zealand, and under the tutelage of Joe Nafa. What do you want to achieve? How much do you want it? How bad do you want it? Former rugby player, renowned actor, and owner of Ludus Magnus. All four cornerstones will be tested. Wairua, Tinana, Fana. It's time to go to school. What is going on here? Let's do this. Ludus is a result of my many experiences. I played professional rugby, but my career was cut short due to cartilage problems in my knees. I lost the confidence to train in regular gyms. So I began to train at home, and I got some great results doing primarily body weight movements. I had unleashed my inner gladiator, and I know that I can help others do exactly the same. Do you hear that boom from a mile away? Like a big Greek god with a lightning blade. Do you smell that smoke through the dirty rain? Gonna burn this town like a ten-ton train. Gone. Welcome to the School of Training. You've all been selected because of your desire to push yourselves and those around you. My first thought of Joe was, crap. He's just gonna kick my butt and I'll be eliminated the first day. I'm feeling excited. <laughs> Joe's hot. <laughs> no, but seriously. <laughs> Despite popular opinion, it takes a special kind of person to be a trainer. And over the next 10 weeks, you're gonna find out why. And at the end of it, I look forward to welcoming one of you into the Ludus Magnus Whanau. Winning School of Training would be absolutely life-changing for me. They're amazing guys. I would love to be a part of a whanau. I've got a big whanau already, but you can never have a bigger whanau, man. You can never have too many. You'll also become acquainted with Jordan and Hohepa. These two guys are Lanistas at Ludus Magnus, and they're gonna assist me with techniques and drills watching you guys over the next 10 weeks. Today, we begin with a fitness profile challenge. It will introduce you to various training exercises and show us any predispositions you might have to any injuries. Everything you do will be judged not only on your ability and technique, but also the four cornerstones of health. First and foremost, heading out Thoughts, behaviors, mental acumen. And Lanista needs to be able to deliver vital information to their clients. He ka hai hai kupunga monaki ona fakaro. Someone that thinks about themselves before other people has a negative impact on those around them. Tinana, perhaps the most obvious, but not just physical strength, also body language and respect of one's body. Fano, for tanga. It's all about building and maintaining those relationships. E tauta tangata, fidi atu fidi mai. A Lanista needs to be able to relate to work with and care for a diverse range of people. Wairua, perhaps the most essential requirement. If you are not spiritually aware, how can you truly be healthy? Wairua also explores the relationship between the environment and people. When it comes to the four cornerstones, I don't think keeping that in mind is going to be hard for me because it's something that I just think about easily on a daily basis. These principles allow us to make sure that we're giving the same attention to each four cornerstone. Um, and when we balance that um, as Māori, we can live healthy, awesome lives. Throughout the challenges, we will observe not only your technique, but your relationship with those four cornerstones. At the end of the challenge, we will select two people who are safe from elimination. I'm feeling nervous. I really don't want to be eliminated. Finish the challenge first, respect the four cornerstones, and you will find yourself back next week with another chance. Before we begin, it's essential to warm up to reduce the risk of injury and make sure you guys are ready to do the damage. Let's do this. My biggest competition, uh, I believe, is uh, Javak. 
When I first saw Javan, I thought he was huge. Oh, Javan, well, my first reaction to the film was he's just like, he's Arnold Schwarzenegger, he's just big, terminate, and you're, I'm ex half expecting to hear some sound effects when he walks. My full name is Javan Ray McCullum Going. I'm 25. My goal was to inspire people, and if I can help anyone in whatever regard or whatever aspect to help them do that, to get through whatever it may be, then I want to do so. So that's why I'm here, is to help inspire people. I'm not a, how do I say it, not an arrogant guy, but I got this pretty confident. Sorry. Just telling myself that I can do it, I'm going to do it, and I'm going to finish it. I'm feeling a bit anxious. It is quite a long course with a lot of different types of exercises. Tahi. Timata. Crap. What the hell am I doing here? Coming up. I'm not made for this. Ah. What is going on here? Drive through. I start to worry. I felt like I needed to faint. I felt like giving up. Today, we begin with a fitness profile challenge. At the end of the challenge, we will select two people who are safe from elimination. Toru, Rua, Tahi, Timata. So guys, I'll buy a strap in first, nice and tight. Keep pulling, keep pulling. I felt pretty confident on the roller. We do a lot of rowing training for our Wakama training, so I felt a bit confident. Keep pulling, keep pulling, keep pulling. Keep pulling. Keep pulling. Keep pulling. Keep pulling. That's it, keep going, keep going. You need it there. Meters. Waran, Waran. This challenge isn't easy. Nice, almost there. Sorry, you. When they walked us through the course, I like looked around, I said, oh, I've got this. You know, in my head, I, I had it. It was probably the toughest thing. I was like, far, we still got this rest of this course. Get low, get low, drive it through, get low, drive through. Hi, my name's uh, Robbie Vaai, 35 years age. My passion comes from back in 2011. I was injured playing rugby league and was real negative um, on that when I was told I couldn't play for about five to seven years. That was the darkest part, I think, in any, any part of my life and being able to channel it now through something positive, um, it really helps. Nice. On your tire, to your tire! Halfway, all the way to the tire, yeah. Halfway. Nice. You're there, you're there, go. go. Get go. under it, drive through, let's go, pace! Well I was nick and nick with Javan, or just a little bit in front of him, and as we were running, I just felt really lightheaded. Seeing this tall ass guy started jogging past me. Right, well Let's go, Jules. My name is Julius Peterson, uh, 22 years old. Growing up, I was a small guy, the guy that was like the most unfit kind of person. And that kind of was a big motivation for me to be more active. What I'm really passionate about is Wakama. My team is the current world champions at the moment, which kind of really inspired me to get into the training scene. Let's go, Jules. Grab a word, bro. Shabala. Pin it back once you see it, bro, face side up. Was the first to the puzzle. I had to flip a card over with a word on it. Uh, we had to put a weight plate on top of each letter. Oh, yeah, the first pick of it, and of course, I get the longest word. Shoulder. I was relieved once I saw Javan. You know, he was having trouble trying to find a shoulder. I knew that I could get ahead of him. Not two, bro. Just one on each. The longer words should go with the tallest guy anyway. <laughs> I picked up the card and it was only a four letter word, calf, and I was like, oh, yeah, not too bad. Give me a look, give me a look. Quickly, nice and easy, four letters, and I'm off. Nice deep squat, solid, brother. I need to check off before you move. I was really congested, uh, trying to weave your way through people, but I'm kind of a big lad, so, uh, you know, bumping into a few of the people, not intentionally. Where's Hart? Where's Hart? Oh, yes, good. I turn over the card with the longest word there, and it's hamstring. And all I could think about was, mmm, ham. My name's Elise New. I'm 33 years old, and I'm a mother of four. It is quite crazy, but it's something that I'm actually absolutely passionate about. I love fitness, and I love my children. So it all is everything that I love. So it's basically the perfect life. Everyone's starting to get ahead of me, and that's when I start to worry. My body felt so weak. I felt like I needed to fade. My vision was getting blurry. You got this. Deep, deep. Come on. You got this. All the way through. Drive through. Get under it. Drive through. 
and then Joe comes up to me and pushes me. He encourages me, you know, if you want to be part of this final, keep going. You got this. Okay, just keep moving, just keep moving. We got this. We got this. Be proud of yourself. All right, I got you. I got you. Breathe, My breathe. Head. I got you. I got you. Breathe, breathe. In through the nose, out through the mouth. And made me want to complete it. Finish this together, okay? We got this. We got this. My name's Olympia Gregg. I'm 22 years of age. I study at Fit College. To me, I believe that all aspects of health and fitness is important in our society today. I love to be in the fitness and health environment. Let's go, Javon! Get on it, Jules. Let's go, Robbie! The word fine for me wasn't that frustrating because I had an easy word and I just saw it. Solid. Keep driving the legs back. Straight line. Stand up. Do not move. I'm having a little bit of trouble with the word fine. Everyone's leaving and I'm sort of just like, what is going on here? Where is this letter? So I'm just putting plates on all different letters. A hamstring. What? Where, 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 where? There's an N there. No, no, no. Where is it? Where's the line? Where's the line? Did you just put them on the letters? Yeah, so it's H-A-N. I definitely spelt the word hamstring in total. It just wasn't on the line. Chest on the ball. Get underneath it. Squat down low, drive through. Let's go, Robbie. I had a good lead, and I had just started my bear calls backwards, and Javan and Robbie really, they caught up quick and started slowly overtaking. You're coming to me, you're coming to me, line touch. Yeah, you're good, go, boys. I'm really exhausted. Whether I'm dying inside or not, I'm just going to celebrate when I get to the end. My name is Taufitu, and I'm 19 years old. I've trained with Joe before. And it was real fun, yeah. I enjoy training even when it's sort of hard and kills me. Yeah, I want to become a successful trainer in the fitness industry and hopefully have my own business one day. Up and at him, up and at him. Yes. Well done, boys. Get down there, get down there. Let's go, pick up some time. When I got to the kettlebells, my strategy was to do five and rest, five and rest. Having Javon next to me, uh, I saw him bang out 10 straight away, so I thought I'll keep up with him and do 10. <laughs> Once I put the kettlebells down, I couldn't get them back up. Push, push. When I took the lead again, it was awesome. I mean, in my mind, I didn't see myself finishing anywhere but first. <laughs> He's built for this game. Straighten your arms, brother. Straighten those arms. Uh, Put down. Uh, uh, then Julius came along. Uh, Julius does a lot of strength stuff, and he was powering them through, so then he got into my head. Strategy was out the window. Suck it in, suck it in. See, that's your last one. See the pose. That's what we're going to do. Come on. Steer away. So I'm in the middle of the bear crawls, and I'm struggling. Dude, come on, let's go, girl. Last drive, last drive. Rest I can feel the, my shoulders burning, my hamstrings burning, my glutes burning. You got a chance to catch up. Yeah, I do. Just power through it. Power through it. You can get your rest on the job. That's it. Let's go. Knees up. Go. I just keep thinking about my family at home, my four beautiful children cheering me on. I just had to keep going and going because I could just imagine them going, go, Mama, go, Mama, you can do it. Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. Keep at it, keep at it. Don't stop, don't stop. Well done. Get your nose out through the mouth. One step at a time. Every step, let's go. A little bit closer to those goals. It's getting hard. I can feel it in my lower back. I'm not thinking about my breathing. What do you want to achieve? I can feel my chest tightening, and since I have asthma, it's something that I have to think about. My name's Astiana Trollin. But you can call me Asti. I'm 22 and I'm from the West Coast. To me, it's not all about the physical aspect of health and fitness. There's also the mental side, which is super important, especially in this day and age when we have iPhones and iPads. Like, everyone's so is it sedentary. Sed sed How do you say that word? Sed sed like, everyone just sits around. It's just time to move our bodies as much as we can, really. Yes! Good girl! Let's go, Stiana! Let's go! Oh, the bear calls just topped it off. It was a killer. It was a killer. Run the rest, OK? Get to this line here, we're going to run the rest. Get to the line, we're going to run the rest. Come on. I felt like giving up. You got this. <laughs> one, one metre, one metre. 
like what the heck doing backward bear crawls after medicine burpees and then doing forward bear crawls again and then going straight into a sprint oh that's tiring it's a hard job it is i must admit <laughs> So I'm doing my rack lunges. I'm seeing Savant getting into his burpees. Come on! Ah! Ah! I think he's about halfway into a sip. He seems to be slowing down. I think there's a chance I can catch up to him and overtake him. Knee to the floor, let's go. I had to, you know, not stop. Keep pushing myself. Don't stop, finish strong, finish strong, finish strong. The girls started to catch up, and straight away I'm thinking, fire, like, this is anyone's game right now. Coming up. Come on, team. The struggle is real. I'm not made for this. We have some people here that are keen to meet you. I was a little shocked. I do feel like I probably will be going home. Come on! Ah! I'm seeing Javan getting into his burpees. He seems to be slowing down. I think there's a chance I can catch up to him and overtake him. Non-stop to 20, bro. Let's go. Let's go. Finish strong. Finish strong. There you go. To the end. Tight core. Backs up. ended up taking it out like, you know, I expected myself to do. I had high expectations of myself, so yeah, it was good. Come on, team. Sorry? Who's got the way to her not to stop? Who's hearty? Knock him out, almost there. You know, a bit of pride started kicking in. Keeping up with the boys is one thing, but seeing ladies go past you, it's, uh, it's an ego thing. You know, I knew I had to finish it. Just a sprint after these burpees to go. Asian and I are neck and neck, and all I was thinking was, I just had to beat her. Finding out that she wasn't a mother and I was made me fight more. My name's Offa and I'm 32 years old. I'm a full-time mummy. I applied for this because, I know it sounds cheesy, but I wanted to prove to my son that not only his dad can achieve his goals, so yeah. Once you start moving, you do not stop, okay? The struggle is real in the kettlebells, eh? I knew it's gonna be hard just because I'm the smallest in the group. Maybe if I was a little lighter, maybe 16s instead of 20s, I, I could have kept my position, but the weight caught up on me, my size caught up on me. Take him through hips. Let's go, girls. On, Let's do it five at a time. Ah, five at a time, short line. rests. There was a point there where I was thinking, flip, I'm not made for this. The girls are already gone. Thought that, you know, this is it. I'm going to throw in the towel. This is the end of my challenge. Come on, bro. Come on, come on. <sighs> Keep going. Why stop? <sighs> Why stop? You wanted to stop five ago. You didn't. Uh, it was good to have uh, Jordan in my ear. Be strong, be strong, finish strong, finish strong, all the way, finish strong. He pushed me through. That's it, bro. You just gotta hit that line. Go. 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 I started to feel a little heartbroken, then it came to me and Olympia. And... Come on, one more, one more, one more, one more. Here's that line, bro. Let's go, let's go, come on, let's go, let's go. I put my foot across the finish line and I have all these mixed emotions <laughs> going through my head. But I'm happy that I completed it and I ended up coming second to last, which is I'm happy about. When I finally passed the finish line, I was so happy, man. Was, my body was killing me slowly, but then once I got to the end, I was ready to go again. Well done to you all. We can definitely see there's some potential in this team. Javan, you were the first to finish, and you did so without disrespecting any of your competitors. You showed great heart, and you will be safe from elimination this week. You're also still in the running for a full scholarship from Fit College New Zealand, and the chance to join us as a trainer at Lutus Magnus. Elise, during the challenge today, you had a real sense of Fano and wairua two characteristics at Lutus that we value greatly. It was noted, and for that reason, you were also safe from elimination today. Yes! Thank goodness that was over. Now, the rest of you still have an opportunity to learn, and we have some people here that are keen to meet you. If you thought you were going to come here and this was going to be all about you, then you are sorely mistaken. These people are the most important people. They will teach us and you more about yourself and your ability to motivate. Throughout the series, we'll introduce clients to you. These clients will change as we go along, and we're looking for people that are adaptable, that can work with, 
relate and motivate to a wide range of people. Your next challenge, keeping in mind the four cornerstones of health, you will have to sell yourselves to these clients. I didn't have to do the elimination challenge. To be honest, I was like, does anyone want to swap out with me? Does anyone want my aisle immunity? Because <laughs> I will do this. You know, this is what I'm about. A big part of being a trainer is the ability to sell yourself. Selling myself is probably one of my weaknesses. You will each get the chance to individually present yourself to these potential clients. They will then score you from one to five. The person with the lowest score will then unfortunately be eliminated. A little shocked that I need a bit of time to prepare. Robbie, you're up first. Straight away, I was trying to think of something real quick and the only thing I could think of was just sharing my story. Hey crew, my name's Robbie. I was very active in sports, uh, tag, touch. Until a few years ago, I suffered an injury, and um, the only way I, I felt was dealing with it was uh, taking to the bottle. And it wasn't for a moment in my life where I did question myself and did want to take my life. Um, I heard the footsteps of my son come through the floorboards of our, our house when I was underneath the house. And when I heard him yelling my name, it, it just gave me another purpose. Like, you know, you don't need to do this. You don't need to... You know, that's um, what being a father is about. It's about trying to give back to your kids. A good friend of mine uh, kind of channeled my energy, got me back into the gym, uh, doing some rehab stuff, and then told him to join them on the sidelines, coaching um, rugby league. I uh, started to enjoy it more, uh, kind of giving back. I'd love to take the opportunity and relish the moment uh, to help you guys achieve uh, your goals, find your why, and find your purpose. So I believe we can find that together and um, I'd love to work with you. He showed resilience. He was honest about where he's come from and the choices he's made. Hi guys, my name is Olympia Greg. Going into the challenge was hoping to relate to the clients. Just a little tip, always have a good mindset, set goals, and... I saw Olympia freeze up. Um, you know, having young kids there and looking at their posture, you want to try and grab their attention straight away. And if they don't grab your attention, you can lose confidence in yourself. Yeah, thank you. I could have done better. Yeah, I think I, was just, I just let my nerves take over and just blanked out. Ko tāku nei, ko tahi maka mo Olympia, nā te mea kiha i ko tahi te hiningaro me te tinana. Okay, guys, good day. Jokes and the humour can really help you bond with your client. We come together as one. We don't push you to do your best, but we keep pushing you until you make sure that you're not going to fail, okay? And we make sure we have that family bond in tight. We always come together, support the crew. Halfway through selling myself to them, and I realised I said the same thing maybe once or twice. What that means is that's how I like my classes to be. They're always fun too, okay, you know, I'm a funny guy sometimes, you know. Maybe. And I had to change it up a little bit and then I sort of make a joke about how funny I am. They laugh a little bit. People first, fitness second, and we're focusing on culture. There we go. They seem very clear and very genuine. My name's Offa, uh, you guys can call me O. The reason why I am here is because I know I need to be here. I'm a fighter. There's a little dark horse over here. <laughs> I want to be a role model for you guys. You know, the kids are actually opened up and they were actually listening. If you guys pick me, I'll be sure to bring it 100. Sweet. <laughs> she seemed like she cared about me and she was very genuine. Hey team, uh, my name's Julius, 22 years old. I try to show that I wasn't that nervous on the outside, but really, um, my heart was beating. What I think makes me a little bit more unique to some other trainers, um, when I train people a lot, I really pride myself in doing the yards with them as well. I kind of went a bit mind blank. Also, I like to make sure you feel welcome with me as well. I let the nerves get, a, get the best of me. Jeez. I didn't really feel that safe from, uh, from elimination. I'm scoring Julius a two for his T-nana because of his injury and it impacted his passion for fitness. 
Hey guys, my name's Estiana. Selling myself to the teenagers didn't seem to be that hard at the time, but when it come down to me actually expressing why I should be their trainer, I did find it a bit difficult. You should choose me to be your trainer because um, I'm very passionate about the health and fitness industry. Being physical, you can bring chi and enjoy life. I didn't really relate to her. Is that all? Lovely to meet you all. Yeah, I just didn't really get her. The clients have now heard all of your pitches and scored you out of five. I'll see you next week at Ludus, where one of you will be going home. I do feel a little bit disappointed in what I had to say. I do feel like I probably will be going home. Next week. You both scored the lowest, with only one point separating your two scores. Those two were a bit of a shock to see there. It's time to hit the wall. That's all I tell myself is let's go, let's get it done.